Hi everyone, it's Kiri. Before I get started, make sure to check the description box below if you left a comment on my last video to see if you're the winner of the pack of Arteza colored pencils. So welcome to my video for my Patreon Wings collab. In this video, I'll be working on a Monica Decay and making her into a death moth. I'll show some of the costume making, wing making, and the face up. So the other beautiful dolls that you see here were all made by some of my wonderful patrons. Every couple of months or so, my patrons and I vote on a theme and whoever would like to participate joins in the fun and creates a doll using that theme. So the theme for this collab was wings. It was really great to see how everyone made something completely different and creative. And it was super fun working on this one and I can't wait for the next. So thanks to all my patrons who were able to participate and those who were cheering us on. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see the individual photos of their work as well as their Instagram information and my final photos. Also check them out on Instagram to see more of their fantastic dolls. So the first thing I worked on was the wings and instead of some transparency film I had this shrink film and it's sanded so you can actually draw on it and what shrink film is it's kind of like those shrinky dinks from back in the day where you would just put it in the oven and it would shrink up and make sort of like a charm or something and this one I wasn't going to shrink I just thought you know it, it melts with uh, heat so I was going to uh, add some heat to certain areas to give it some elements I'd never tried anything like this before but it seemed to work pretty well it was kind of challenging to kind of figure it out as I go but it worked out what I was doing is kind of tracing this is actually the moth that I drew for my logo and I blew it up and used it as a template to trace and I'm using this heat tool to just add some of the details into the shrink film. Then I cut it out and had four pieces and I actually burned in some holes instead of making the holes I just kind of burned them through and then I took a lighter to finish off the edge. It gave it a nice little melted look and just added a little bit more texture to look a little bit aged and distressed. So with the four pieces, I used some of this. It's kind of like, it's called, I think it's called pearl drops. It's, or crystal drops. It's a sort of like a paint. And I put it over them and it, I knew it would be a little bit more transparent than regular paint so I put it over the wings and then kind of rubbed it across to give it to go into the grooves that I created with the heat tool and then I added some or I painted some other details by hand. Now I'm taking some super glue and adding this wire to the top and the bottom of the wings. So for the top wings I added it to the top of the wing, the bottom wings I added it to the bottom. And then I went, that was just to uh, hold them in place while I put this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic over them. And that's just uh, making it more permanent and just adding some dimension over the wire so that it stays on. I did that a few times and then let it sit overnight. And there they are uh, attached. I attached the wires together. And then I added them to an alligator clip that I clip on the back. This is the little top that I made out of lace. I also sprayed, later sprayed the wings with some Mr. Super Clear flat, so it would have more of a flat effect since it was a moth. I wanted it to be more flat than shiny. So for the costume, I added a little skirt that I made. I just fringed up some, or ruffled up some lace into a skirt and then adhered some of these other lace pieces. I thought this particular lace just kind of lent itself well to like a mothy look. And then I made some slippers out of vinyl and added some detail on them. If you're a supporter over on Patreon, these slippers are the game changer for November. So that video is available to you there, the video and the pattern I included. So for the doll, I'm using a Monica Decay from Monster High. She's one of my favorite uh, dolls. She was one of the later releases, and I really enjoy working on her. This is maybe the second or third one that I've done, and she usually turns out to be one of my favorites. Funny, funnily enough, the other one that I remember working on, I also gave her sort of a skull face, and this is what I'm going to do with this one in a little bit. 
I'm adding the basic shapes and then just kind of layering up. I like to add white or a lighter color to certain areas on the face to just make them pop out, give it a little bit more of a highlight, and just blend that out. If you're new to my channel, I like to share the making of my custom doll art and sometimes my mixed media artwork as well on my channel. But for more close-up demonstrations or step-by-step -step tutorials, access to a library of how-to videos and other monthly re monthly rewards, check out what I have to offer on my Patreon. I also have prints that I mail out monthly and just other art uh, available there depending on what tier you choose. The link to that is in my description box below. Also, if you'd like more in-depth beginner instruction, uh, you can check out what I have to offer on Skillshare. So far, I have a beginner class on rebooting doll hair with yarn as well as a beginner class for face-ups. And both are broken up into easy to follow short lessons, uh, just like 10 minute lessons at a time, so step by step. So it's more of a course than just demonstrations. And uh, Skillshare, is, if, if you follow the link in my description box below, you get, I think, uh, at least a couple of weeks uh, free, um, and then you can cancel any time. So just, I, I, re I recommend Skillshare. I've taken lots of courses on there myself that have really helped me level up my art career. So like I said, the link to that is in the description box below. And if you follow that link, you'll get a week or two at least a free subscription. I'm sorry, I'm not sure because they just changed it recently, how long that is. So I was just adding some shading and blushing to her face and now I'm just going in with more layering. I'm doing some shading to the eyeballs to give them a more of a 3D effect. So for the eyes, I'm giving her like a sort of a soft green or sage green color to go with the hair that I rooted her with. The hair I rooted her with is sort of a sage green color with some green or gray pieces throughout. It's similar to some of the green that I've used on my past dolls, but this is a newer uh, color and it uh, picks up on camera a little bit uh, less grayed out than it actually is. It's a little more muted of a color. It's actually gorgeous in person. And I thought it went well with her skin tone, so I decided to match the eyes to it. Also for her hair, I did a uh, simple do, so I didn't film it. I just used a uh, metal chopstick and heated up with my flat iron and just went around and gave her just lots of curls. And then I did two braids on the either side of her head just to kind of appear similar to what the moth has on the top of its head. So a death moth is what I was trying to achieve here. She kind of has a little, it's kind of reminiscent of a, a Day of the Dead look, but um, really it's supposed to reflect the fact that it's a death moth and the death moth has sort of a look of a skull on its face, but I wanted to make it a little bit more decorative. So I just did some designs around the eyes and the forehead and then some shading around the cheekbones to make it appear like a skull. Gave her a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, some gloss on the eyes, 
and adhered some eyelashes. And here is her final look. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure again to check out the photos of the work that was done by my patrons coming up here in a second. I would like to thank them so much for all of their support. We had a great time as usual on this collaboration and I look forward to the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.